Okay, so the scaling system. And if you don't know what scaling is, basically it's just um, how moves do less damage um, after being hit from uh, preceding moves. So if I'm doing a move in a combo, it's going to do less damage than if I had just done it on its own. So if I take this for example, the last hit, as you can see there, did 1350 damage. But if I do it after a combo, just a bread and butter to toga combo, the last hit did 612 damage. And you might be like, whoa, why is there so much less damage um, just because you did it in a combo? And that is basically just anything that happens in any fighting game to stop you having, um, like, 100% damage combos. Because if you're able to, um... Because if everything didn't have scaling, then almost everything you would do would, like, kill the opponent. Because, like, if I did this move, <laughs> which does 4,000 damage, combine it on top of everything with, like, raw scaling, you'd be getting, like, 60% damage for, like, such an easy something like just this. That'll be like half of their health, and if I get this wall spider, they're probably gonna be like dead. If there was no scaling on combos. So yeah, that's what scaling is. What I, and I'm fine with that. That's something that happens in every game. Obviously, you can have scaling in your combos. What I don't like is why does the game think everything is a combo? And I know what they're trying to do here. They're trying to. They were trying to um stop like ridiculous resets. So like after someone does something like this. You know, pretend it's been a huge combo, and then they do something like this, and then they go and do a reset. Sometimes, in One's Justice 1, when they didn't have this kind of uh, scaling reset, um, like, there was almost like 100% damage combos. Because if they got hit by the reset, then, like, it's completely new damage. But in this game, it treats it like it's literally the exact same combo. So the scaling is so intense that there's almost never like enough reward to do a reset. Then like the risk reward for doing resets is completely weighed toward risk. Like there's basically no advantage to doing resets in this game, which I really don't like because resets, you know, are a part of fighting games. Like they're part of every fighting game, and you know, <laughs> that's just how they always are. You know, if you make the read to try and mix your opponent up, you know, you get more damage because you reset them. And so see here, like if I'm throwing out some projectiles, I throw out projectiles, and even though I'm not doing that that fast, then the last one there, 718 damage. Look how that's tight that's like one percent. That's such small damage compared to what it usually does, 2860. And like the only way to avoid getting like small in damage is wait like five seconds like if i wait ages in between each projectile then i'm gonna be getting full damage each time but even if i like just do them see there what that was a huge wait and i still got less damage let's see throw it now less throw it now even less like it's not like i'm spamming and just like pressing the button over and over again like this like a lot of toga players do <laughs> um i'm i'm like you know running around a bit doing another one running around a bit you know doing another one and I'm still getting, like, such pathetic damage for these. Like, what the hell? And the worst part is, like, if you're playing a character that has projectiles, which is most characters, you know, if you've... I've hit them with a few projectiles, then I come in, I'm doing a combo. This is a full bread and butter combo for Toga. Oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for that 2,800 damage co What? That is laughable. I did a dash cancel in a combo. A full combo. So I, like... Pretend I did a red attack or did something, and I punished my, or did something and beat my opponent and got a combo, and I got 2,800 damage just because I had hit them with a few projectiles beforehand? It's not even like I was spamming and then just running, like, oh, I've just hit you with a few projectiles and now I want to do a combo because, like, I caught you off guard, and now I'm getting nothing. <laughs> I get 2,800. Oh, so if I throw a few projectiles, next time, let me just make sure I remember, I'll just, like, wait over here for a little bit. Okay, yeah, now I think I can come in and do my combo, and it'll do some damage. There we go. Oh, yes, thank you. Now I can finally do damage. Now I know exactly how I should play this game. I should throw a projectile, run away, you know, just wait for ages. And then, then once I've waited, I can, I can press buttons, and then it'll actually do damage. 
And this also applies to things like resets. So characters like Toga or Mirio has some like this. Um, where they have moves that kind of like reset you in the air. And keep in mind, these resets are not real. Like, the opponent can actually attack before I can. So not only can they do like a yellow attack or sidestep or do anything out of there. They can do an attack before I can. So these are technically very risky and unsafe. But if I want to do a reset, you know, in previous games, or in like literally any other game, you know, you'd be getting more damage for doing these resets. But look, I'm getting nothing for doing this. Oh look, let me go for a quick combo after that I did the reset. Oh, thanks for 2,800 damage again. Like, wow, I'm so glad I reset my combo. And like, if you're doing after, after like a combo, there's basically no reason to ever go for a reset, because the risk way out exceeds the reward. So if I do a combo with Toga like this, and I want to go for a little reset here, add, you know, some damage to the end. Oh, yay. I got 1,942. Like, oh, okay, maybe I got a wall splat, but, you know. That's such small damage, and especially considering the opponent, if they know, and they press a button, they're getting a full, unscaled damage combo on me. So why would I ever go for resets in this game? It's, it's so stupid. And also, like, the thing about, like, um, you know, if I'm trying to be, like, cheeky, you know, like, I press a few buttons and then I, like, go into a red attack and do some more damage that way. There's actually no point in doing that and going for any kind of interesting or, yeah, just interesting mix-up or anything other than just, like, mashing buttons and doing boring stuff. If I try and do anything interesting, you know, like, try and, oh, you know, go like this and then go in for a red attack, there was no point in me doing that because I'm getting such pathetic damage from it now. Like, that would usually do, like, 8,000 and I'm getting 6,000 now. Or, like... Like, oh, why? I don't understand that, like... And how I would fix this, and I think, in an ideal world, if they were to fix this, which, unfortunately, I don't think they will, because they don't seem to care about this game too much, but I feel like, just, you can leave the scaling a bit, because I know you don't want to have ridiculous resets or stuff, or I feel like, even just have situational one, like, situ like, I don't know, put effort into your game, maybe. <laughs> and like, think about where, like, if it's something that is risky, like this one with Toga, where it's extremely risky because the opponent can just press buttons and do a full combo, maybe have that not scale as much, maybe not scale at all. Like, obviously for ones maybe, you know, where, like, you know, they call out the support, and then they like, and then it gets like a reset that way. That wasn't a, a real example, by the way. But like, you know how sometimes you, they get a wall splat, they do a support and into a red attack, and then this is one's just this one stuff, by the way. And then you could get like a 100% combo because you did a reset. Obviously you can fix stuff like that. And so those, you know, scale or have them not work somehow. But oh, just how they've decided to fix that is so dumb. Just by treating everything like it's a combo. Like, like what, why? Oh, yeah, you know, let me do a quick combo, yeah, 1,500, yay, so fun. I love, I love being aggressive with Toga and getting nothing for it, because that's fun. <laughs> but yeah, how I fix this, maybe I'll let you keep the scaling, just do it less. Don't treat it like it's the exact same combo. Do make it do a little bit less damage. Don't, don't, please, don't treat everything like it's the same combo. It's so dumb, and uh, yeah, that's all I have to ha say about scaling. Let me know your opinions on this in the comments down below.